Hey everybody, it's Tom and T from Show Me Coasters, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Six Flags Great America and what new rides could possibly come to this park. As you may know, this park is different than any other Six Flags park. For a new ride to come, it's usually at the expense of an older, beloved ride that's uh, been in, ex in existence in the parks. For example, Goliath, when they were going to build that, they remove a Iron Wolf and send it to Six Flags America and X Flight. Uh, you lost a shoot the shoot and uh, another ride. So we're going to, uh, you know, go look through each section of the park and s see what ride can replace these old and aged ride and not necessarily close to it, but what could make the park look better. So the first section we're going to look at is the Orleans section, which is toward the front here, right by the Carousel Plaza. What is your thought in this section, Tom? Well, there's not a lot in this section, but the only ride really that you could really remove from this section would be the Condor. Oh, and the, I could see that, yeah. The Condor, I mean, it looks really cool at night when it's lit up and everything, and it is kind of a fun little ride, but it came from Six Flags St. Louis, and we got rid of it because it had a lot of maintenance issues. At, uh, like Tom said, at daytime, this ride looks it's showing its age, it's rusting. Half the time it's not uh, operating. operating. So so what we thought about, uh, another suggestion, a similar ride that could take its place is uh, the Mondal, the giant swing, the Wind Seeker, would serve its purpose and it would actually uh, would create a, a unique front entrance with Skytrack on one side and this one at over 300 feet at night, this one is beautiful and it uh, could also serve as a observation deck. Anything else you want to address in this section, the Orleans? Yeah, I mean, I think that you could possibly, if, you, if they really came down to it, I think they could take out the Dark Knight. I mean, yeah, there's only three of them in existence, but, you know, it's just a wild mouse and there's nothing really unique about a wild mouse. Yeah, it's a little fun little ride, but it's definitely... Yeah, I mean, it's not like Six Flags Great America won't ship this to another park that right. needs a coaster. So I can see that goal, you know, but as for now, I think both Superman Ultimate Flight and the Wild WoW Mouse uh, is safe. It has some more years at, at this park. Uh, I think Mardi Gras section is safe. I mean, it's not that big of a section. Yeah, it's you not that big of a section. A Mardi Gras Hangover and the mm -hmm. Balloon Ride and Carnival Games. And you have the, the Rapids Ride. Yeah. So the next section is the Yankee Harbor. Now in this section we see two rides and yeah, this is a huge park, we hate to do this, but the Yankee Clipper, the loggers run, it really starts showing its age. So I could see that they take this down, but uh, forgive us folks, we, it's not gonna be a what do you think it is. So I could see them take down this water, uh, these two water rides, but I, they can turn around and modernize it and give it something like a a mac power splash power splash a water coaster but what? i think that's going to really be dependent upon how successful that is at six flags over texas because anything that has mock in the name is going to have a high price, price tag yeah but this is one of six flags baby so um i could see it go there and you know uh but it would definitely fit in that section. It's it's about the only place in the park that a Mac Power Splash would fit. Originally, we thought we'd put the Raptor or the a T -Rex. T Rex in here, but as a coaster enthusiast, we want to shove coasters everywhere. But you have this is a huge park. You have to think of you know, the welfare of the patrons. Mm -hmm. So there's you have to strategically place some of these water rides that I think we do need to keep the water this. Area. A water ride. A water ride. Section. Yeah, I mean, that alone will not. You, there's going to be the lands left. Yeah, they, they, they could might always add another couple of flat rides or something. Or a you restaurant know, a small or something. Or another restaurant, yeah. I mean, they've got calzones over there. Or, Capone, or Capones, or whatever. Calzones, whatever. So, but, uh, are, you, are we done with this section? Yeah, I mean, the only other thing that they could take out from there that would really be worth taking out and shipping anywhere else would be V2. I think that's safe. But I think that's safe because it, that's it's still, still a pretty uh, yeah, popular ride. At that, Six Flags I mean, every time we go there, it's always a line for it. Uh, the Yukon Territory. The Yukon the, Territory is such a small section. It's probably the smallest section of the park. But, yeah, and there's one. 
one ride that sits on prime real estate there. Yeah, and that's the go karts. And I, you know, Six Flags is not afraid to take out go karts, even though that is a revenue generator but right there. But they they might sacrifice it for, uh, for increased attendance. So yeah, and I could see, you know, a, a Raptor could go in there, there but you know. it also could be, even though the flat. Right, it's uh, it's pretty good here at Six Flags Great America. They could modernize it, add maybe a giant Discovery. Yeah, giant Discovery would fit there. Really uh, nice, huh? uh, Endeavor would be another good one, yeah. and uh, uh, what's another one? Uh, the Six Flags Fiesta Texas, that spinning thing over the, the new place. Air Race. Yeah, yeah, that would be kind of cool. So there, that would I. spruce up their flat ride collections. But yeah, so, there's not a lot you can do in the Yukon section. It's not that much it's, room. It's, it's, we we mentioned it was area. like two. Yeah, it's like two hundred and fifty feet by, by three hundred feet. feet. It's not very big. So the uh, the county fair. What's your thought on this section? Well, the county fair section is really it's kind of discombobulated. It, you know, it's way. weird. It's the, it's the a one, long it's a long section, yeah, it's, but it's, it, it weaves around. There's accurate. one ride that here that sticks out like a sore thumb, and it's actually. It's obstruction to the flow of traffic. Revolution. Yeah, yeah. it's an old ride. But I can see this ride. If you remove this ride, it will open that section up completely. And, you know, you could move it to another area. You could. But, I mean, visually in that section of the park... It's, you're you're it, either mean, it's forced a, to go by a, the, the... It's obstructed, but, it, but the way that that one, the lighting package on that one... Is kind of cool. It kind of really brings a, a, a carnival vibe in that section. Well, I mean, you could, if you want to replace it, something like a sky roller, like, like a Canada's Wonderland. Yeah, that, that would be. Three, 200 feet. Yeah, but this one is just cool. weird. And even you add another one, it's it really blocks. You're either forced to go by the carnival game or you have to weave around all the way to the left by Kitsopolis. Uh, to go around the revolution. Now the other ride that's in the county fair section that can be removed is Daredevil Dive. That's the, the other. Yeah, I, know, I I see where you're going with it. Extra fee, because it is attraction. uh, it uh, do the whole day. You might have ten, twelve uh, parties doing that. It's not generating money like Six Flags wishing. Big uh, Six Flags different than Cedar Fair. They do not have like a true section true kids section i could see them remove uh, their devil dive and expand on kidsopolis and, yeah that would be and name it uh uh Bugs Bunny in the Boom Town or, or Bugs Bunny national yeah, park or something yeah. because the the other one where space is rocket is is small so it's the one at yeah the hometown yeah now let's look at uh, american eagle this ride has been on the well, the lips of uh youtubers rumor uh guessing what it could be a lot of them wish this could be rmc but i don't see six flags great america going this route yeah i don't either i mean the problem with american eagle isn't necessarily retracking it it's a structural problem so it's a safety issue really so yeah i mean for now i think six flags great america is gonna try to keep this running as long as as possible there'll be days when it co does come that this ride is going to be more op, uh, more expensive to operate than it, it is to, you know, tear it down. So uh, I could see if you, <laughs> I could see in the future this ride is going to be torn down or retract. Let's say it's uh, torn down and in its place, I could see, yeah, the public is going to be mad. I could see a Giga, you know, it doesn't have, not have to be something overly expensive uh, when the... Most enthusiasts think of a, a Giga, they think it's, it's more expensive than a Hyper. Not necessarily. Look, look at Orion and Diamondback at Kings Island. They're only less than 100 feet difference in height. You're not paying for the height of the drop. You're paying for the total amount of steel that uh, B&M is charging you. So I could see, you know, a Giga about the same length as uh, Raging Bulb, about 50. 51, 53, 50, 5400 feet, and I think the public would be satisfied. What 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 other option do you see? Yeah, the other option would be a you know a hyper raptor or something like that. You know, something that's unique Look, that would be unique to Six Flags. Great something America. different, yeah. S taller than Jersey Devil. I would think so. Yeah. 
Tom, what do you think about Demon? Is it safe? Demon, I think, is safe just because it's kind of a historical coaster, but it is one of the roughest aero loopers I've ever ridden in my whole now, entire life. Now, you know, what's different with Six Flags, Great America? They're not, they're not, they're not afraid to move anything. Well, they can always ship to another park, you know. But this is an aging ride; you probably break down. Yeah, I right? would not ship a forty-year-old yeah. aero looper to another park. Especially this one. It's not that great of a car. It has some good theming, but it's... Oh, yeah, it can. I can see. I mean, it's it has historic value, and that's the reason that it's probably still there. Yeah. Uh, for now. For now. <laughs> Until the, the price of uh, fixing it was... Uh, out too high, yeah. I could see, like, a like an S&S uh, access over here. Don't oh, take... you know, or... Not necessarily an s and I mean, that's a big plot of land where mm -hmm. that sits. That's a pretty big chunk of land. You know, what I re would really like to see in this plot of land would be like an Intamin multi-launch or some sort of a multi-launch coaster. Like Maverick or Terran? Like, yeah. So, you know, a really good coaster, you know. You're, you're right. This it, uh, Where Demon City is, there's a lot of land. Yeah, they, even you could even go by all the way by the... Where they do the... Uh, Halloween was like the... Uh, the old ride, the cemetery. Yeah, you could utilize. Yeah, the, we. This park only has one intimate, which is uh, V two. Right. Is that it? Yeah. yeah that's so, it. but like something like Maverick or Terran, would set the the middle of the park here, give it energy. So I could see a, a multi launch uh, intimate coaster here too. So the next section we're gonna look at is the Southwest Territory. I think this area, it's safe. Yeah, there's not um, really yeah, anything. Viper's there. a little rough, but it, it's not. It's rideable, and Raging Bulls definitely stay. What about that? Where the building Chubasco? Then you think that's safe? Oh yeah, that's definitely safe. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, the, those teacups. I mean, everybody loves that the, the Chubasco, and that other half of it is a nice little mm -hmm. area to go and relax at. It's kind of shady at times. So the last section we look at, at is the hometown square. Um, this serves as more like a parade route. I, for me, I think it it should stay. Yeah, the only thing I would do differently was be move those three little kid rides that sits over there in that section and move them over to Kidsopolis, and then that way you could put in another flat ride of a, a larger thrill ride, something kind of like a Discovery, you know, Giant Discovery or a Zamperla something. Disco. Just something to kind of light up that area over mm, there. Something tall and bright. Maybe like a, uh, the top scan. The Mondial yeah, top scan a Mondial top scan would be really cool there. So uh, that that is uh, it, folks, looking at Six Flags, Great America's Future, what possible rides who could replace some of these older rides and maybe a, a coaster addition. This is T. This is Tom from Show Me Coasters, and we hope you have a great night. Have a good night. Thank you.